Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. Freedom. What do you think about freedom? Isn't freedom one of our, our greatest qualities? One Isn't freedom one of those things that we all desire? Isn't that why we even established this country? Isn't that why we're here? Isn't that why we go into business for ourselves? Freedom. Webster defines freedom as the quality or state of being free, the absence of necessity, coercion, or constraint in action. Let's talk a little bit about freedom. Freedom is an entitlement. However, even though freedom is an entitlement, to maintain that freedom, that is earned. True freedom comes from making good choices and good decisions. I've often said that the decisions we make make us, yes and no, lead in opposite directions and determine the course of our lives. The decisions we make today is either a deposit or a withdrawal from our future. We do have control over the choices that we make. Fortunately and unfortunately, once we make that choice, perhaps we've given away the opportunity to choose the consequences. Now, if we've made good choices, then we enjoy the consequences. If we've made bad choices, we have the opportunity to learn from those consequences. But the idea in life is how do we continue to become even better decision makers and to make great choices? I remember a quote from a years ago that was brought to my attention just this last Sunday. This quote is so powerful. It's from a man by the name of J. Reuben Clark. He said it in 1938. And no, I was not there, okay? But here's what he said. It is a rule in all the world that interest is to be paid on borrowed money. May I say something about interest? Interest never sleeps, nor sickens, nor dies. It never goes to the hospital. It works on Sundays and holidays. It never takes a vacation. It never visits nor travels. It has no love, no sympathy, it is as hard and soulless as a granite cliff. Once in debt, interest is your companion every minute of the day and night. You cannot shun it or slip away from it. You can't dismiss it. It yields neither to entreaties, demands, nor orders. And whenever you get in its way or cross its course or fail to meet its demands, it crushes you. I learned yesterday about a plan, a strategy that Dave Ramsey has. It's called the snowball approach, the debt snowball approach. He says, make a list of your debt, personal and business. So you have personal debt and you have your business debt. List the amount of debt and the terms, then pick one. He recommends the smallest one. That way you get an adrenaline boost. But what you do then is you look at all of your debt, you pick one, and then let's say it's a $100 payment, and then you decide how much extra could we make towards that one, and on all the others, you just make the minimum payment. So let's say you had a $100 debt and you decide you can make an extra $50 a month to that payment. Once it's paid off, celebrate first, you always celebrate your successes, but then take that $150 and put it on another one that you've listed there. Add it to what you normally would be paying as the minimum payment and see how fast you can pay it off. That becomes the snowball effect because as you do one, it rolls over to the next one and then onto the next one and you keep adding more and more. And before you know it, the debt is paid off. Now, why is that important? We carry way too much debt in this country. Our young people have watched the older people do that and they're saying to themselves, hmm, I don't want to wait. I want it now. But we need to help our we need to help every one of us learn how to manage our debt because we surrender our freedom and we surrender our consequences. How many decisions are affected by the debt that we maintain? Whether in our business or in pleasure or in our families. Because if we can't do this or something that we would really like to do because we're constrained by debt, we've surrendered our freedom. So here's a plan that you can try. You may take a variation of it. I sat down with Lori. We loved it so much. We went through and kind of worked it out and we're creating a variation for ourselves. But our intent is to regain and to re-energize and to re-enthrone our freedom by the elimination of debt. I hope this is helpful to you in one way or another. Have a very meaningful week and I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye-bye.